Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So again, uh, we're back here in the ruins of the Citadel of Time, and once you get to 125,000 Dream Color Ink points, you can come back here and challenge the third of four battles in order to unlock the five star move and get the personal weapon of the Tales of character of your choice. In my case, I've already gotten Cress, which was at 10,000, and then I got Yuri, which was at 50 something thousand. And so, in this case, I'm going to choose uh, Velvet as my third character with 120,000, uh, 25,000 points. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So, just like before, if you've caught my first two videos on um, you know how to get the five star weapon as well as the uh, you know do the fight to get the five star tome or records you'll know that it's a series of small uh, puzzles by which you're going to use your special uh, ring to kind of activate those red orbs and what it does is the red orbs focus the energy from your ring in order to blast ahead and destroy the wall or walls um, directly ahead of it in some cases you actually have to align uh, two red orbs uh, vertically so that the beam becomes much more powerful to destroy the third wall ahead. So being that this is my first time here, we're going to just kind of explore it together. This is the Sorcerer's Ring another, like I said, boom, blew up the wall, and we're going to wander through. Now also keep in mind that there are some switches by which you can either turn off um, you know, walls or lights. Um, there are some that actually move uh, you know, platforms, for example, or even move the uh, orbs so that it can focus at different locations. So keep that in mind. At times you actually have to go back and kind of reactivate switches as well. So, um, you know, not too uh, challenging, but it is a little bit of a mind bender. And so not too bad in order to challenge ourselves a little bit in order to get some uh, pretty cool rewards, in my opinion. Now, bear in mind, this is the third area already because uh, I've already gotten two characters. Each subsequent area that you have explored, the boss and the enemies will be a little bit more difficult than the previous one. So when you go in for the first time, I believe it's recommended level 50. And as you explore, the levels become a little bit harder, both with the mobs as well as the enemy itself. So you can see that the yellow um, kind of, uh, I guess, summoning circle is right there, and that would warp you to the final boss. However, in this case, you can clearly see we have not found um, Velvet's personal weapon yet. So we're going to have to backtrack, fully explore everything, and make sure we get it before uh, warping to the boss fight in order to get um, her 5-star record. Now, one last thing though, if you do forget or you've missed the weapon, you can come back afterwards um, and re-explore without having to fight the boss. So um, keep that in mind as well, it's not absolutely necessary to do it all in one go. However, uh, for the sake of completion, I'd rather go in one go um, just to you know allow you guys to kind of uh, watch both the personal weapon as well as the boss fight. Being that Velvet is an Earth type uh, character, we're going to bring Wind which had the elemental advantage over Earth. And you can see this is my uh, full wind team with a wind zone setter in the form of uh, Claude AS. So uh, not going to fool around here. We're just going to uh, do some major damage here and get that done. Okay, so you can see that I used one of the switches and moved two of those um, orbs vertically. And now you can see I blew a wall a hole in the third wall um, directly ahead of it. So um, sometimes you do need the power of the second um, or to focus the laser such that it becomes more powerful and amplifies the move. Otherwise, uh, you know, just explore and use your wind type. Hopefully you have some AoEs um, that destroy all enemies and you can walk through and, you know, not have too much trouble. Obviously, if you don't, you can use single target DPS and clear the mobs that way. So we do have uh, Kikyo doing the bulk of the work here, although I do have OG Suzette, my waifu as uh, you know, if I really wanted to. In this case, I am using the AS form just because she does a little bit more DPS against bosses and I'm not sure what to expect. As you can see, there are hidden things in the walls where you can't really see and you have to walk by them in order to kind of unlock certain things. So uh, just make a note of where it is. I walk by there and there's a hidden little switch there and it allows us to uh, move one of those uh, platforms containing one of those red orbs uh, to another location. So let's backtrack and see what we need to do. Okay, 
One other good thing about doing it here is that uh, you do definitely get uh, the chance to kill more of those units, both in doing it here as well as in um, the another dungeon as well. Okay, so in the case where you don't have enough power, not a scratch on the wall, we know that eventually we're going to have to move uh, a second platform in front of that first orb in order to destroy it. Being that we can, uh, you know, shoot that. There you go, two in a row. So uh, we're at the top left corner there, and we're going to just backtrack and walk all the way back down to the kind of um, bottom left half of the map. I did cut the scene to make it a little bit easier because. Let's be honest, it did take a few minutes to kind of explore fully and make sure we know where we're going. So hopefully you guys are having a great time doing these tales of uh, side quests as well as, you know, hopefully you guys have finished chapter 3 and gotten at least the chance to go through the another dungeon hard or very hard and unlock if not one or more of those uh, five star characters uh, for use. Because once you get them all, of course, you do get to level them up. They are permanently on your team. Which is the great thing about these developers. Uh, a lot of um, other games that I know of in terms of gacha, they have time limited events where if you don't summon or gacha it in a short time, you will never get that character again or it has to take a long time for kind of um, that content to kind of get re-released to us. In this case, there is no time limit uh, and you can uh, come back whenever you want to, play as quickly or as slowly as you want. And we've gotten the Blood Blade for Velvet. Nice. I believe the first two weapons for Yuri as well as for Crest just increase the speed and their base stats uh, for those who are, are interested. I believe their base stats are a little bit lower than the average high-end 5-star weapon. So um, there's a little bit to be said about those weapons not being super overpowered. But hey, free is free. And at the end of the day, we do want every weapon for collection. Uh, for those who are new to the game, you do get uh, Chronostone awards uh, for depending on how many weapons you have, uh, how many pieces of gear, and so on and so forth. So, you know, 10 pieces of swords, 20 swords, 30 swords, 40 swords, and so on and so forth. Uh, so you definitely want to gather one of everything if possible. Now, this dungeon actually drained my MP, so uh, Kiko has kind of run out. I didn't bring enough uh, AoE DPS, so um, we're going to have a little bit of challenge here. But hey, we're going to use our full wind zone team to turn uh, AF and see where we're at. Now we also have Yuri, he's not super powerful, only level 65 or so, but hey, let's just test him out here, use 2 turn AF and see where we're at. We're going to spam the Lone Wolf Stone Storm, which actually does increase AF boost, there you go. And then we're also going to just do the far right and hit over and over again. Unfortunately, it looks like this boss has an HP stopper at around the 30% mark or 20% mark or so. Uh, so, yeah, I wonder when we fight the true form or the difficult version of it, uh, how that's going to go. I think most of them actually have two HP stoppers. So uh, bear that in mind if you decide to take on the additional challenge and try to earn their personal grass stuff. Okay, so in, as a counter, this uh, turtle has foreign jot, I guess, or whatever it's called. Um, has established Earth Zone, but we're close to killing it, and let's be honest, against a full level 80 team, we're really not going to have too much challenge there, and we just ended it with a couple million dollars, so not too bad at all. For those players newer to the game, you'll definitely have to um, try to build up uh, a viable team in order to fight a boss like this. Uh, if you can take a valid advantage of their elemental weakness, like I said, Wind has the advantage over Earth, then by all means, if not, well, you may have to wait. Hey, Let's, let's be honest, the content doesn't go away like I said earlier, so you can always come back and challenge when you have the powerful teams or you know more gacha characters. Okay, so the final uh, character, which is Mila, will unlock at 205,000. So there we go. We're going to um, trade in that record. And it only requires one Empress Crow. And there we have it. 5 star velvet. Nice. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.